Hello everybody, Calibus here, back with some more Hearthstone. Today we're playing my brother on brother bashing tournament. Today we're doing the second part of my older brother Jason versus my youngest brother Andrew. Right now the tournament stands that Andrew has lost with his first two decks. He's down to his last deck, his priest deck. And Jason is still on his first deck, his rogue deck. So we're going to go ahead and continue up the matches. We're going to see if Andrew can make a comeback for the little brothers everywhere. Or is it going to be the day of the big brother? Alright, so whenever you're ready, Andrew, feel free to challenge. Prepare to be defeated. The challenge is set and accepted. According to the rules, Jason still has to play with his rogue because it has not been defeated. He can't switch in the middle. And we already know that the last deck of Andrew is his Priest, which he claims is his strongest and most well balanced. So if he's going to make a comeback, this is the deck to do it in. Alright, Jason top, tosses his two high cost cards and gets a hand of low cards to play early on. This is his third cards. match where he goes second and he's got the Defias Ringleader coin play every single time so far. It's amazing. Our town scrubs are strong with this one. Is someone injured? <sighs> a strong opening play. That's a strong opening play from the priest, one of the best priest, uh, priest best cards. Tough to deal with if you don't got the right cards in your hand. Throwing up the R Town Scrub. I'm not sure if that's the play I actually would have made there if I was Jason because now she could use her cleric to kill his 2 1 and then heal her up. And then she's still too strong to be killed with the 2 2 guy. You talking to Andrew right now? Yep. Why are you telling him to do stuff? Psh. Yeah, I already knew that. Lies. But. He will be able to make his dagger next turn, so he'll be able to use his 2-2 to hit her and then dagger her. So this will be the only card draw she gets. Alright, so we got the cleric off the field. You have board control with the 2 1 and a weapon. You're down one life to him. You, He has one card more in his hand at the moment. He just ended his turn with all his mana, so can't ask for a better turn than that, I guess. <laughs> Brings out the leper gnome. Here we go. So I learned from watching Andrew's deck, he doesn't have a lot of early priest plays. But once he gets through the five mana or more, things starts to go in his favor. Things so start to heat up, huh? You gotta get you gotta get that early lead on him. Really, a good start. Got a warden out, trying to slow you down. So many options. 
Right, adds some poison, which allows for any kind of combos that he wants to do. Ha, this guy's toast. Brings out his SI agent, does two damage. You looking at me? Runs his Leper Gnome into him. Dies and gives two more damage and daggers him to get him off the board. Following up with the Defias play. And we got a life total of 23 to 28. Board control belongs to Jason. Card control, card advantage belongs to Andrew. It doesn't matter how many cards you have in your hand if you're not using them. Ooh, he's dead. This can play a bunch of cards, but with it. So he buffs up his quest adventure to three life, which I mean, you have the damage right now to just kill him with the dagger. So I'm not sure why he would. I mean, why would do that? He might have been desperate, just needed to play a card, get some minions on the field to help deal with what you got going on. Here we go. All right, it looks like uh, Jay Sinister is going with the burn him down play here, getting his life kind of low. Down to fourteen. Fias has been doing a lot of work this match for you. He hasn't found a way to clear him off the board yet. It's a beast. Maybe he'll throw a heal on him. Oh, looks like he might finally get taken off the board. Whoa! He just fully fired uh, injured Defias. <laughs> that was... That, okay, that's what he did. So the Cult Master is a good card against a priest because his attack is 4 and that puts him in the safety zone from the priest removal which is uh, Shadow Word Pain which is 3 damage or less creatures or Shadow Word Death which is 5 damage or more creatures. However if he does have a Holy Smite in his hand that will kill him because that does 2 damage or if he has a Holy Nova that would also do 2 damage to kill him. And there's a Holy Nova, it does 2 health to him and 2 damage to his creature, I mean it's not the most effective, but obviously it looks like he's trying to keep the creatures off of Jason's board and kill himself as much as possible. I think right now Andrew's strategy is to get to late game, because he's not using his removal effectively to remove a Defias with the Holy Fire and to Holy Nova, a Cult Master, but he's hoping Jason just runs out of steam it looks like. Killing himself and trying to clear the board as much as possible. Here we go. So Hogger is out on the field and receiving a buff. And so 
he interfires them to give up just two extra damage. Which some of these calls are questionable questionable on, on Andrew's part at best. Alright, so you he hits the top for a car draw, pulls out a Yeti, daggers them to finish him off, and pulls out an assassinate to eliminate Hogger so no more of those taunts coming up. And gonna pull out a fresh set of daggers. So I believe Edge's Priest deck has a lot of legendaries in it. So he's now at the mana point where if he's been holding on to big cards, they could get played now, so. We're officially getting to the danger zone part of Andrew's deck. Hogger was his first big play, which was dealt with. We'll see what else he got. So he's holy smiting the 1-1 one, one, Acolyte, giving Jason a backstab. And he brings out a Ragnaros, which is going to automatically hit you for 8 damage. Mm. I suppose if I get rid of him right now... So that probably breaks his heart a little bit. We'll see what his other three cards are. Here we go. And pokes him down to 20. And this is where he leaves. So does he use Leroy as removal or straight damage? Bring out damage. Does he have a holy fire to eliminate your whelps? There's the holy fire. So the whelps are gone. He doesn't know that you have a backstab sitting in your hand though, which will just as effectively deal with Leroy as the whelps would have. So Leroy is off the board. And you have 10 mana to play the cards in your hand. Bringing out a big threat. Which is kind of risky because he's at 10 mana now. And that means he has the mana if he has a mind control. So he might mind control the Stormwind Champion. But we'll see. So obviously the options here is Shadow Sun Cleric. The well Yeti, played. or to abusive sergeant the Yeti and refresh your knives after an attack. Looks like he's going for the abusive sergeant play. And hitting with the Yeti. Poking with the dagger. Refreshing the dagger. And if he has another holy fire in his hand, that's going to do 5 damage to you and end the game. If he has a mind blast in his hand, that does 5 damage and ends your game. Uh, mind control won't help him. Warden with Divine Spirit. You already used your assassinate. I, I don't know if you have any silence in your deck. Does he have another inner fire? So he has an inner fire. So and a hill come in. Well, he has ways to deal with that, but we'll see what he chooses to do here. Gotta run everything into him, huh? Uh, I mean, that's one option, but it's not necessarily... I mean... Well, Maybe. He doesn't do his thing. I have. That's the only thing I can do, right? I'm not yeah. going to be able to poke with him or her. So yeah, the buffing. The your buffing isn't going to. I mean. I mean, this. Your Fat and Nice will give you a card draw. Maybe it'll give you a card that's going to also help, but maybe it won't.
see. Gotta, gotta kill him, right? Well played. Yes. So for those of you who are watching that play, it was important to know that the Stormwind Champion attacked last. Because if he would have attacked first with the Stormwind Champion, the other creatures would have lost their buffs. And then they would have lost their damage potential to kill him. So you always save your Stormwind Champion for last if you can. That way he continually gives the buffs before he dies. If the Stormwind Champion would have died first, then the other minions would have lost the buffs that they were receiving. So we're still at the same point where Andrew needs to pull something that's going to do the 5 damage and it looks like he doesn't have it. And now with Illidan on the board, things can start getting dangerous. We must cleanse the sun well. No taunt? Uh, there is no taunt in the hand at the moment. But he has a full board. Who shall be next to take my so, so folks, it looks like no matter what, we're getting down to the last turns. Andrew might need to pull a Mind Blast or a Holy Fire or something that's going to finish off the match. If he doesn't, I don't think he has cards that are going to deal with uh, Jason's entire board. So, it might be a kill by Illidan here. Look if, at those uh, flames of Azeroth. They look badass. And we end the match with the Cassini. And there you have it, folks. We have the uh, end of the match. Since we don't want this video to be so short, how about, Andrew, you want to do another couple matches to... Uh, see, look at take a look at Jason's other decks, or do we want to keep those a surprise? Alright, well, the, for those of people keep you track, this is an incoming spoiler. I'm telling you what the current, uh, if you haven't seen the other videos, um, I'm telling you right now what the records are. Currently, I am one win and zero losses. Jason is now one win and zero losses. Andrew is one win and two losses. And Michael is zero wins, one loss. So far, Michael only played Andrew and lost. Andrew has played everybody, and he lost to both me and Jason. So his record is one and three. Me and Jason only played Andrew so far, and we both won. So we're both one and zero. Oh. We're gonna play each other in our next video, and uh, we're gonna play Michael. And the two brothers with the best records at the end of this will face off in one final match. Anyway, that's what we got going on. Look for our next match coming soon. I think uh, we'll see. Jason, you want to maybe play Michael for your next match? Mm. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see. see what the next matchup is. But uh, right now, we'd like to thank everybody for watching. I have been Calibus along with my brothers. Thanks, everybody, for watching. This has been Hearthstone, and we will catch you next time. Click that like button.